squeeze the shoulders down your back. Get the breath connected with your body. Take about three more. Inhale, exhale. Two. Good. And then just change direction. So we go up, over, and forward. Three more. Two more. And on one. Good. From here, I want you to reach your fingertips towards the floor. Palms to face towards the back of the room. We breathe in. As we breathe out, we're going to squeeze those arms back as much as we can without arching your spine. So we're going to focus on a bit of posture and release. Exhale, I want you to squeeze those arms back. Hold. Inhale, release. So imagine you're holding something heavy in those arms. They're putting those shoulders down your back. You're squeezing back and down. You hold and then you release. We just got four more. Activating that back body. Just make sure we're not poking out those ribs to get there. Lovely. For three. We have two. We have one. Now squeeze those arms back. Reach your fingertips down further and take some little pulses. Keep the crown of your head lifting up. We're here for five. We're here for four. For three. Last two. Last one. From here, reach those arms up. Take a big circle with those arms. So the chest should feel a little more open now. Reach those arms by those ears. Try to get your biceps to brush those ears. Inhale, exhale, open. Good. That's it. One more this way. Change direction. We go back first, up, over, and forward. We have three here. We have two. And on the last one, I want hands behind your head. So soften the knees. Start to squeeze your chest up. So we're bringing the elbows back. We're opening up through the front of the body. And as you exhale, we're gonna draw chin to chest, keep the elbows wide and just start to round through that back. Inhale, we soften knees, we lift the chest up, open the heart. Exhale, breathe all the air out. We have two more. Inhale, we lift up. Exhale, so we're getting into that flexion and extension through the spine. One more here, we breathe in, open the chest, lovely guys. Exhale, we round, 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 back of the neck is nice and long. Start to slowly come up through to center, bring your feet one inch further apart. Inhale, exhale, you lengthen towards your right. So we a big stretch over towards the side, keep your elbows back. Breathe in to hold. Breathe out, slowly engage from your center to lengthen back, okay? So we're keeping your elbows back. You're keeping the back of the head pressing gently into those hands. You're squeezing into the waist. That's it, keep moving side to side. Imagine you're between two panes of glass. Good, and again, we reach over and then slowly draw back. Last one, we reach over. And then from there, we hold. Bring your feet wider, toes to face out. Hands stay behind your head, guys. We're gonna draw down, we squeeze up. We go down, we squeeze up. So I want you to think of pressing your head into your hands. Keep your ribs knitted together on the front of your body. And then keep pressing your knees out. As you lengthen up, you're squeezing into those inner thighs and the glutes. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Guys, good. Imagine you're sliding down a wall. We have four more. Warming up that whole body. For three, squeeze. For two, squeeze. Now on one, I want you to hold. Can you lift your right heel off the floor? Can you lean towards your right and give me some little press pulses up and down? So your right heel is lifted and you're opening up through the chest. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to center, inhale, exhale. You lean towards your left, your left heel lifts up. Squeeze, squeeze, keep peeling the elbows back. For five, beautiful, four, three, two. Final push here, come back to the middle. Reach your arms up. We inhale, reach towards your right. Keep your heels down, exhale. Can you sit down one more inch? Inhale, exhale. One more each side, guys. Keep drawing the knees wide. Inhale, exhale. Last one. Inhale, exhale. Slowly press back up. Reach those arms down and shake those legs out. Okay, coming to the end of your mat. 
We're going to reach those arms up. I want you to take a big breath in. As you breathe out, you're going to nod your chin towards your chest and come into that first roll down. So keep your knees soft. Start to come down into that roll down. Take opposite elbow in each hand and start to take a little sway left to right. So just release through that head. Give your head a little shake. Take one more big breath in here. One more big breath out. And then just let those arms go long. Bring the weight into your toes, soften your knees, breathe in. And as you breathe out, we very slowly peel up through your spine. I want you to go really slowly now. Tuck the pelvis under. My head's gonna come off, but don't worry, we'll come back down again. Roll the shoulders, take a breath in. Reach those arms up. Keep your arms in line with your ears as you imagine you're coming up and over a wall. Pull the navel towards your spine. Reach down. And then again, you're in that forward fold. I want you to bend your right knee. Place your right hand on your right leg or the floor and extend your left arm up to come into that twist. So you're gonna feel a stretch through that left side. You breathe in. As you breathe out, can you open up a little bit further for three, for two, and for one. You change sides slowly. Bend that left knee, reach your right arm up. Inhale, exhale. Good guys, and then slowly, Come into an all fours position. So bring your hands down underneath those shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And I just want you to take a moment to really get into that, those hips, into the lower back by taking some nice big circles here. That's it, a bit of mobility before we start isolating different areas of our body. Change direction. Nice. Okay, now from here, I want you to come to stillness. Start to inhale, open up through the chest, pull the shoulders down your back. As you exhale, you tap the tailbone under and start to peel your whole spine up into that C shape. So you're really pressing the floor away. Breathe into the back and sides of your ribs. Breathe out as if I'm pulling that chest forward with a piece of string, you open up. Almost like you're pulling the mat towards you with those hands, okay? So you're gonna feel those shoulders draw down. Couple more like this, lower, mid, upper, hip. And then slowly release through. Final one. Pull the lower neck belly in towards your spine as you come into that C shape. And then slowly come into neutral. Now from here, I want you to give me a tuck of those hips up towards your ribs. You're nice and lengthened through that lower back. You extend your right leg, you point the toes. From here, breathe in. As you breathe out, you keep your spine super still as you squeeze the right leg up and tap it down. Exhale. So I want you to keep your, your hips drawing up towards your ribs. So there's no arching through that lower back. If you want to advance it, bring that left arm forward and start to squeeze the left arm up at the same time as that right leg. Now be really mindful that you're not allowing the left shoulder to lift up towards the ear. Good, everyone. Squeeze, exhale, inhale. Keep your lower belly really engaged and think of this as an abdominal exercise as well as a leg and an arm one. We have four more. We have three more. We have two. Last one. Now I want you to place your left hand back on the floor. Your right leg stays lifted. Flex your foot and cross that right leg over your body to tap the floor. Squeeze it back up to hip height. Tap the floor again down and then squeeze up. So we go across, we lift up, we tap down, we lift up. Cross, lift, down, lift. Well done guys, keep stabilizing through those shoulders. Down, lift. So your hips stay still. We have four more here. We have three, we have two, down, lift, last one, cross, lift, down, lift, now hold here. Flex your right foot and give me some tiny pulses, up, up, we're here for six, we're here for five, keep reaching, four, three, two, and one. Now guys, place your right foot on the floor, okay, take a moment. From here, I want you to squeeze your left leg back to join your right. You come into your plank position. Press the floor away with those hands. Squeeze your belly in. Squeeze your inner thighs. And then start to take a little rock 
forward and backwards without lifting your shoulders. So keep really connecting those abs. Good. Forwards and backwards. Keep breathing. Four more here. Three. Hips in line with shoulders for two. And on one, press back. Now hold. Press your heels back. Scoot the navel in towards your spine. Squeeze your inner thighs for four, for three, for two, and for one. Take a quick release in your child's pose. Knees wide, feet together. Sit back onto your heels and give me a little shuffle left to right. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more here. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. We're coming back to all fours. So remember, all fours is a full body exercise. Make sure your hands stay underneath your shoulders. Start to just round your back. Come into that C shape. And then start to open the chest and come through. This time you're halfway, so tuck the hips up. So you have an imaginary cup of coffee on that lower back. You extend your left leg back. Maybe that right arm extends straight away as well. You squeeze the leg and the arm up without letting anything move through your spine. And just be mindful that that left shoulder isn't reaching up towards your ear. So keep your shoulder plugged down. Okay, be mindful with this. You want to bring the leg only to hip level. It's more about length than it is about height. We have five. Slowly down, control it, keep the abs engaged. Four, three more. Last two, last one. Now guys, put your right hand down. Flex your left foot. Draw that leg across your body. So you tap over towards the right. You then squeeze it up hip level, tap the foot down, squeeze back up again. So we are going cross, lift, down, lift. Cross, lift, down, lift. Nice, keep the foot flexed. Keep your hips still. Keep pressing the floor away with those hands. Keep reaching, lengthening through the crown of your head. Three more. Good, last two. Down, lift, last one. Cross, lift, down, hold. Good, tiny pulses here. Up, up, flex your foot. We're up for six, five, four, nice. Three, two, one. Slowly bring that left knee back in. Place your elbows onto the floor, elbows underneath your shoulders. Number 11 shape. And then just shuffle your knees back, so we're in a three-quarter plank. I want you to look towards your fingertips and try and drag your elbows and your knees towards each other. Okay, so we're gonna really fire up your abs here. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, can you squeeze elbows and knees towards each other and find that quiver? Then take a release as you breathe in. Two more, exhale. So I want shoulders down, tailbone tucked under, inner thighs engaged. One more, guys, you're gonna hold an option, tuck your toes, lift your knees off, and you're in your forearm plank. Okay, you either stay in your forearm plank, or more advanced, you bring your both knees towards the floor, and then lift back up. Now, if you're doing this, you're not letting your hips drop, it's just your knees, so you're deeply connected through those abs. Five more, inhale, exhale, keep breathing, guys. Four, three more, push the floor away with your elbows. We have two, we have one, press the floor away. We're all in our forearm plank. Push your heels back, draw the chest forward, find that quiver and hold for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Child's pose, lovely work everyone. Call yourself back, bring your palms to face up towards the ceiling. Give me two big breaths here. Inhaling, exhaling. Lovely guys, one more. And then just start to slowly come and sit back on those heels. Okay, I'm gonna take a little opener for your hips. I want your left hand behind you, face it away from you. Toes together, knees wide, and just start to open up those hips, okay? So I'm just gonna lift up, squeeze the bum, tuck the pelvis. And then very slowly come down and change sides. Right hand behind you, fingertips face away. Inhale, we're gonna lift up, open the heart. 
Use the muscles in the bum and the back of the legs that we just worked. And then slowly come down. Come to sit on one side of your feet and bring those legs out in front of you. We're in a seated position here. I want your hands underneath your knees. Knees, feet are hip width apart. Lift up through the crown of your head. Okay, so we're starting with this C curve. Now keep your hands behind your thighs, but only gently and start to roll your hands down your legs. Tuck your pelvis under and come halfway back. So your lower back is imprinted. Your shoulder blades are off the mat. You breathe in. As you breathe out, you're really lifting through the lower abs. You start to come up and then lift up through the chest. Now that's option one. You can bring your hands off here, but I want you to make sure you're not rounding your shoulders. So squeeze the shoulders down your back. Keep them down your back, keep them down your back. You tuck the tailbone, your lower back imprint, and you hold, breathe in. And as you breathe out, you squeeze, lift up for three, go slowly, two, and one. Then those arms reach up. Okay, breathe in, breathe out. So we're gonna do a few more like this, but I'm gonna make it a bit harder. You have an option to stay doing this exercise and please don't rush it when you come back up because that's where the magic happens, when you really draw your lower abs in and up. Good guys, couple more, exhale. Maybe you come a bit lower, but you really connect through that, those abdominals. Inhale, exhale, we come up for three, for two, for one. We've got one more like this before we hold back. Exhale, press your feet into the floor. Inhale, lovely, exhale. We round and we lift. Okay, so don't come too low to start with now as we come back. Bring your hands behind your thighs and really tuck your pelvis under so we're really prepared. And then bring your hands off, palms to face down. We're gonna inhale, bring your right arm up, left hand down towards the mat, and then exhale, change. So this is hard work, so don't come too low here. Keep really scooping the pelvis under and keep your ribs really connected. Five, four. So when I say ribs connected, I mean don't let them poke up. Three, two, one. Well done, guys. Back to the middle. Roll up through the spine. We've got one more exercise here. We're going to inhale, lift. Exhale, we come back and hold. Hands behind those thighs again to really set yourself up. Imprint your lower back. Reach your hands off your legs, but don't round the shoulders. Reach your fingertips towards your heels. You're up an inch, you're down an inch. You're up an inch, you're down an inch. That should be really intense for those mid abs. Five, four, three, two, and on one. Start to slowly lift up. Now from here, just try and lift the heart up, come into that extension, breathe in. And as you breathe out, just lengthen the legs for a moment, bring your arms forward and roll all the way onto your back. Lovely, for five, four, three, two, and you are lying down in one. Take a moment here, guys. Hug your knees in towards your chest, and just take some circles in opposite directions with these legs. That's it. Change direction. Bit of a release for your spine, bit of abdominal engagement now. So I want you to bring your legs onto the floor, feet onto the floor, knees are bent. Arms wide, legs squeezed together, close your eyes. Okay, so we're really gonna connect into those abs now. Breathe in. As you breathe out, I want those knees over to the right as far as you can without lifting that left shoulder. Okay, so your right side of the right foot is on the mat. So you breathe in. As you breathe out, think of drawing your lower belly in away from the thighs as you draw your knees back and roll onto your lower back. Breathe in, breathe out. You're getting a lovely stretch now for that right side. Look towards your right fingertips. Lengthen through the right side of the body. Breathe in, breathe out. How much can you engage your abs to draw those knees back? So it's not just about having those legs up in the air. I want you to really focus here. We only have one more each side. Over, over, over. Whole shoulder stay down, yeah? Breathe in. Breathe out. Moving through, honey. Final one. We're going to come back to this later with our legs lifted. So really focus here on engaging your lower abdominals to squeeze your legs back. And then just roll into the middle and bring your hands down by the sides of your hips. Separate your feet now. 
Let that pelvis go to neutral. So you create a natural curve under your lower back. Inhale. As you exhale, you're going to imprint that lower back. So to zip up through the lower belly and imprint your lumbar spine. Inhale, release back to neutral. So I want a few like this, okay? We're going to start just tucking that pelvis, tilting it towards you, and then releasing it away from you. Okay, we've got three more. Try not to rush this. It's a really nice way to start these ab exercises to warm up the abs, to release your lower back. One more, exhale, imprint. Now inhale, you are back to neutral. So I could slide a silk scarf underneath the base of your lower back, okay? Then your hands come behind your head, you interlace your hands, and you bring your elbows two inches off the floor. You are gonna try your hardest not to move that pelvis. Breathe in. As you breathe out, you lift the head. Now, head and arms are pressing together and start to lift the shoulder blades off and come into that C curve. And then inhale, slowly back down. Okay, so we're coming into the curl up. Exhale. Are your hips trying to take over? That's what we wanna try and eliminate. So your rib cage is gliding down towards your hips and without letting those hips lift up. That is how we get the core working. Keep your bottom heavy is what I'd advise. Elbows wide. And then inhale, melt back down. Okay guys, we have four more. I'm gonna build it up. Feel free to stay doing any of these exercises. Keep long, so you don't wanna be compressing your chin now. Imagine there's a little orange underneath there. Three more. Inhale. Two more. Press the feet down. Lovely guys. Now last one. I'm going to come into the hundreds, okay? So this is a very good classical exercise for warming your abs. You reach your fingertips towards your heels and you stay lifted. You start beating the arms. You inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale. Now beat the arms. Reach your fingertips. Draw into your ribs down towards those hips every time you breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Now to make it more advanced, I want you to fold your knees above your hips and gently imprint your back and squeeze your legs. We have five more. Inhale. Exhale. Lift higher. Four more. Keep going. Exhale. Lift higher. Keep the shoulders down. Three more. Exhale. Two more. Can you lift up further? Exhale. One more. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Keep lifting. Two, three, four four, five, guys, still the arms, keep the upper body lifted. Can you start to float your arms back towards your ears without dropping the upper body? Keep squeezing the legs, keep the ribs connected for five, four, keep lifting the chest, three, two, and one, circle the arms round and hug those knees in. Great work, everyone. Really nice, take some circles through the lower back. So we're gonna continue with a bit of abs and then we'll start to open your hips and work your glutes. So I want you to bring your knees back above your hips again. You have a very gentle imprint of your lower back. So start to just give me a gentle tuck, but don't lift your tailbone completely off. And then from there, your knees might draw a couple of inches away from you. So your lower back's imprinted, but you're really connecting your lower abs by pushing the knees away a tiny bit, yeah? No lifting through the lower back, breathe in. Breathe out, toe taps, bring your right foot towards the floor. Inhale, bring the right knee back up. Exhale. Now, we don't want to go quickly. Remember that sensation of moving through, honey. Exhale. Inhale. We're all keeping our head down just for the moment. Really use your breath to activate. So squeeze the front of the ribs together. Draw your lower belly away from the thighs. And then inhale, slowly bring the leg back up. We have six. Exhale. Inhale. Feel every part of the movement. Beautiful, guys. Make sure you're hinging from your hip and not dropping the foot towards your bum. We have three. We have two. Okay, on the last one, you can always keep your head down, okay, if you wish to. Otherwise, hands behind your head and lift the upper body up. Okay, we keep the upper body lifted. We start to breathe in. Breathe out. You're going to cross your right armpit towards your left knee without moving your legs. And then inhale slowly back. Exhale. 
so. You can keep your legs glued together if you prefer. I want you just to work through the upper body for a moment without moving your legs. It's hard. Try and think chin in line with chest and try and lift up, 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 hold, inhale back center. Guys, you've only got four more like this. And then inhale back, warming up through those obliques. And then that head is down. Three more. Nice. Two more. One more. Okay, bring your head down, bring your arms wide. We did these a bit ago with our feet on the floor. Keep your legs together. Breathe in, breathe out. Bring your legs to the right. Keep that left shoulder down. Inhale. So now your obliques have been warmed up. You're gonna feel this more. Squeeze slowly back. The whole abdominal wall is working to bring those knees back. And then legs to the left. Right shoulder stays down. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, guys, we've only got four more. Now, if you wish to, you extend your legs and then squeeze them back in with straightened legs and then bend them in again, okay? So that's an option. Legs come over, they stay bent. They inhale, straighten. Exhale, they squeeze back. Don't stop breathing. One more each side. Over. Reach away. Squeeze back in. Final one. Bend. Over. Reach away. Squeeze back in, final bit guys. Bring your hands back behind your head. Lift up, breathe in. So you can guess what's coming. Exhale, draw your right arm into left knee and straighten your right leg. Hold, inhale slowly back to center. Exhale, you are in your crisscross. Hopefully you should feel this more than you usually do because we've warmed up those obliques quite a lot. Try to lift up towards the knee rather than letting that knee draw towards you. And if you've got the form, you can quicken it up. Now breathe out, breathe in center. Breathe out, breathe in center. Lovely guys, give me a more. Someone's got a dog in their face, keep going. <laughs> Six, five, four, three, two. Last push, last push, stay with me, come back to the center. We're gonna inhale, can you extend the legs without imprinting the lower back? Can you reach the fingertips towards your heels? Can you maybe bring the arms back towards your ears? Can you draw the legs down one more inch and hold for five, four, three, two, one, and you are done with your core for now. Well done. Give that right knee a good hug in and extend your left leg away. Breathe in, breathe out. Start to bring that right knee across your body with that left hand. Reach those right fingertips away. Look towards your right and take that lovely twist through the spine. and then slowly come back, extend your right leg, hug your left knee in super tightly, and then draw that knee across. One of my favorite stretches is to release your spine, get into the lower back and the hips a bit. And then come back to the middle. We're gonna open your hips a little bit more, get the spine moving, so work through your glutes. So reach your fingertips towards your heels, just make sure you can just tackle the back of your heels with your middle finger. You're in a neutral position, you breathe in. As you breathe out, we go back to that imprint, but then keep tucking the pelvis and start to float your spine up. So this time I want you to think about working your glutes. You can find a enjoyment through the stretch of your abs here, so pushing up those hips. But just make sure you're not poking the ribs up, so keep them nicely funneling down towards your hips. Breathe in, and then breathe out. Slowly melt your spine down, one vertebra after the other and then just let it go at the bottom of the movement. Breathe in, breathe out. A few more like this. Really pushing the knees away from you. Finding as much length through the front of the body as you can. Squeezing your glutes at the top. Inhale, and then exhale, melt down. Lovely guys. And again, quicken up a tiny bit, but don't lose the form. That's the key to Pilates. If you go quicker, don't miss out parts, okay? Keep your knees in alignment. Still think about your whole body here. Okay, on this last one, I want you to lift up and hold. Just keep your lower body completely still now. Inhale, float your arms back towards your ears without poking the ribs. Exhale as if you're pushing water away, you bring those hands back down. 
Inhale, keep tucking those hips up. You're gonna feel those legs working. You have three more. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Inhale, exhale. Well done, guys. Last one. And then place your hands on your hips. Drop your bottom rib down. So I want your lower back as lengthened as possible. And then start to float your right knee above your right hip. Draw it down. Yes. Left knee up. Draw down. So keep your hips super steady. I want you to feel that little bite underneath the grounding leg. So where the glute and the hamstring meet. Keep alternating sides. If you want to work more through that core stability, your hands are above your shoulders, but shoulders stay fixed down. Five. Down. Four. Down. Three. So we come into one side. Stay with me. We will stretch for two. Now, guys, everyone bring their right knee above their right hip. Slowly place your hands on the floor. Make sure your left heel is underneath that left knee. Go down an inch, up an inch, down, squeeze, down, squeeze. So we're really finding that bite underneath that left side. We have eight here. Stay with me, seven, lift, keep it tiny, six, chest open, five, four, three, two, one more. Place your right foot down gracefully and then slowly pull your spine down. Okay, so we've done that left side to start. I want you just to windscreen wipe your knees left to right a couple of times. And then we're gonna roll onto your right hand side. So you're still working through this left side. Okay, you're coming onto that right elbow in a strong grip today. If you don't want to be on your elbow, you lie down. Your he heels and knees are in alignment. Okay, so you're in like a chair position. Squeeze underneath this right armpit and then bring your leg up and slowly bring it down. So you want to avoid trying to collapse here. So don't let your shoulders lift up. You want to really feel a lift through the right side. And then if your bottom doesn't fire, stick your bottom back a bit, okay? So you're in a neutral. And then really lengthen that front knee away from you. And you're going to feel it. Okay, guys. Squeeze up, squeeze down. We have five. Make sure your shoulder's nice and open, not rounding forward. Nice. Three more. Two. I'm gonna feel the glutes after this. One more, now hold. Tap knees, tap toes, tap knees. Now you might not tap. What I want you to think about is the internal and external rotation from that hip. Five of hip, these. Four, open, keep lifted. Three, two, one more. Now hold there, last push. Extend your left leg as much as you can. Flex your foot and then sweep that leg forward, but don't let your hips move. So you're still pushing your bottom back as that leg comes forward. Oh. And then take little pulses. Maybe reach your left arm up. You have eight, seven, six. Keep reaching, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Lovely work, guys. Give yourself a little rack. Slowly roll onto your back. Take a quick stretch for this side before we go to the other. So left shin on top of the right thigh. Interlace your hands behind your right thigh. Take three breaths here. Roll the shoulders away from your ears. Breathing in, breathing out. Keep pushing left knee away, pulling right knee in. One more breath. And then feet are back down. Okay, so from here, I want you to bring your right heel underneath your right knee. Start to tuck the hips up. Okay, so we'll hold our bottom ribs on the mat. Our hips are nicely tucked. And then slowly you fold that left knee up. So we're straight into these pulses. Really put the pressure through that right heel. Down, squeeze. Down, squeeze. So good for you, this unilateral work. Okay, you're gonna find maybe there's a weaker side. Keep your hips level, keep checking out your alignment. Eight, seven, six, squeezing, five, four, three, chest open, two, one more here, we lift. Now without dropping the hips, bring your left foot down. 
inhale and then exhale slowly melt your spine down again windscreen wipe those knees left to right a few times and then you come and lie on that left hand side onto that elbow okay your knees are forward in line with those hips heels are in line with your knees push the top hip away lift up through the underneath side from here the whole top leg lifts it draws down okay so if it's pinching in the front of the hip maybe lie on your side maybe stick your bum back make sure you're lengthened that's really important so we're not crunching into this right side and then slowly up slowly down really nice everyone slowly up slowly down we have five ribs nicely connected your abs have been worked so make sure you're using them yeah we're keeping nice and steady through the upper body for three for two for one now without moving your hips so make sure your hips super steady you try and tap your knees and then you tap your toes and then think about not dropping through the shoulder toes knees toes knees toes embrace the burn five of these four three two and open last one now i want you to extend the leg now reach it away imagine i'm pulling it away from your hip now this is the important bit so as that leg comes forward don't just round your back yeah i want you to keep that neutral so keep the hip drawing away from you as the leg comes forward and like almost you're sticking your bottom back a bit as the leg reaches forward you're going to feel it more arm up press the left elbow into the floor eight seven beautiful six five four three two one slowly release give yourself a little whack come onto your back quick stretch for that side right shin on top of the left thigh pull that left thigh in towards you push your right knee away two more breaths i quite like to take a little wiggle left or right here lovely guys last one and then hug those knees in tightly i don't take we're not holding on to stretches for ages in this class because it's only short so come up to a seated position place your hands on your shins try and keep yourself in a tight ball as you come into that rolling like a ball up and back so just really massaging through your whole spine now and forward three more two more last one guys really nice we slowly come up now lengthen your legs legs are straight inner thighs are squeezed arms reach forward fix the shoulders down your back breathe in as you breathe out we come into a full roll down so i want you to use your glutes use your core and slowly melt your spine down and then start to reach your arms back towards your ears breathe in breathe out arms forward chin to chest lift up through the lower belly keep lifting keep lifting squeeze your legs reach your arms forward but keep your shoulders down and enjoy that stretch running down the back of those legs and the spine and then inhale roll back up now this is harder if you try and keep your arms by your ears okay so that's an option don't forgo that sequential movement so slowly down breathe in breathe out keep your arms in line with your ears lift up lift up flex your feet squeeze your legs and try and go a little bit further forward beautiful everyone we have two more take your time inhale lengthen through the spine exhale good arms reach back and then forward can you go one further one more inch before we come to our last one inhale exhale okay guys halfway back keep your shoulder blades off reach your fingertips towards your feet fix the shoulders down up an inch down an inch can you reach your right leg what two inches off the mat can you twist towards your right for four these are all options for three keep it tiny two one back to center don't drop bring your left leg up can you twist towards your left can you keep squeezing reach 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 four three beautiful two one back to center slowly round through your back slowly 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 keep reaching forward keep reaching forward as you squeeze your arms behind you interlace your hands breathe in 
breathe out, reach the crown of your head, squeeze the shoulders back and down, keep your inner thighs connected, think of your body moving in all position. One more breath here. And then slowly, just come back, bring your hands onto the mat, fingertips to face towards your hips. Press your feet down, roll the shoulders, and we lift up. Open up through the chest. Good. I want three breaths here. Inhale, exhale, can you squeeze your glutes? Can you open up through the heart more? Two more. Can you lengthen your legs into reverse plank? Final one, breathe in, breathe out, open and hold for five, four, three, two, and on one, bend your elbows, slowly come down, lovely work guys, shake it out a little bit, cross your legs, just reach your arms up for a moment, take a nice forward fold with those legs crossed, breathe in, breathe out, and then tiptoe your fingertips over towards your right, place your left hand on top of your right, and enjoy that stretch through that left side. And then over to the other side. Keep your hips drawing away from those arms. Lovely, come back, place your hands down. Push back to all fours. Okay, last little bit here. So we're gonna come in to finish this little plank set. We're gonna do some arms. So I want you to shuffle your knees back so your forward of your kneecaps to start with. Tuck your pelvis under. And we're coming into a push-up. So your elbows are gonna draw, not all the way to your ribs, but halfway. So on the diagonal, down, and then push back up. Okay, so you're still activating your whole body. Inner thighs, glutes. Keep looking forward, okay? If you're feeling super strong, those legs are off. So toes tuck under, down, slowly up. But I want you to go down for one, and up for three, two, one. Down for one, up for three, two, one. Good guys, keep tummy tucked under. Keep your back super long. We have four more, down, up three, two, one. Three, down, up three, two, one. Last two, you can do it, keep breathing. And slowly back up. Last one, go further down than you have before, go down, and then we're up three, two, one. Slowly come back. Sit back into those heels for one big breath in your child's pose. Inhale. And then exhale. Slowly come back to all fours. Tuck your toes under. Lift your hips up to a downward facing dog. And start to pedal those legs out. So you're bending one knee, drawing the other heel down. A little hip opener here. Start to bring your right leg up. And then you spiral that leg over towards your right as you try and square your hips over towards the left hand side. Enjoy that stretch, lift the knee up one more inch. And then slowly we extend the leg. Hips draw down towards the mat, leg comes down, change sides. Left leg reaches up. You bend the knee, open up those hips towards the left. We extend the leg. Come back to your downward facing dog. Take your final big breath in. Final big breath out. Draw the heels down, lift the sit bones. And then slowly start to walk your feet towards your hands. Take some big semicircle motions around those legs. Good, and then come back to the middle. Soften the knees, weight in the toes, and start to slowly roll up with me. Six, five, four, three, two, and on one. Now from here, just bring those legs to parallel, okay? So feet underneath your hips. We're gonna to start to bring your arms up, lift those heels off the floor. Now try and hold those heels off the floor as you bring those arms down. This is hard, try and stay focused. Try and keep your heels lifted as you bring those arms back up. Can you give me one more here? You draw the legs, the arms down, keep the heels lifted. Slowly bring those arms up, lift up one more inch, hold there. And then you can place the heels down, keep the arms lifted, lengthen through the crown of your head. And then press down with those palms as you lengthen further through the crown of your head for three, for two, and for one. Big roll through the shoulders. 
Well done, guys. That was amazing work. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. guys. Lovely to see you all did so well. Really strong group. Any feedback or questions? Let me know. I'm Posy Pilates on Instagram. Thank you, Posy. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.